Hello, hello, good evening class. Welcome. Hi, Sarita. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Okay. And uh, let's see, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hi, good evening. How are you? How are you? Fine, and you? How are you, Oscar, uh, Oscar? Let's see, Oscar, Carlos, how are you? Guys. I'm fine. And you? Excellent. Very good. Hello, Hector. Welcome. Miss, buenas noches. Eh, voy a estar de, de oyente, Miss. Okay, Hector. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start in a moment. Just hold on. No. Tengo apagada la, la cama. Escucha lo que está diciendo. Ya vamos con la caña. Okay. I'm gonna share in a moment with you. Just... Okay, so let's see how many are we now. Uh, Ileana, welcome, Ileana. Welcome, Sara. Hoy estaré como oyente porque estoy sacando un trabajo aquí en casa. Okay, Ileana, thank you. Cindy. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, Marvin, how are you? I'm fine. Ya <laughs> vine. Great. Okay, so we're going to start now. Thank you, Ileana. Uh, let's see who else is here. Douglas, hello, Douglas. Hi, Nikki. Hello. Hello. Okay, guys, so we're going to start with our session number 11. So we're starting unit number two, uh, number three today. So we're just going to wrap up with unit number uh, two, and then we continue with unit number three. So, but let's see uh, what do we have for this unit, for this uh, content in today's class. So this is our agenda for today. And could you help us, Nikki, please? Do you read the agenda? Um, warming up, free tax information, questions and answers, takes preparation, exercise, uh, four, tax, conversation model, five, we're up, I learned about, uh, six, assignment, inglescorporativo.net. Okay, nice. So we're gonna check a lot of things today and let's start. So we're gonna start with our um, warming up activity. So I hope you're ready for this. And uh, let's see, um, so I'm gonna select some of you, team one and two, team two. So you're gonna play something called pantomime. Algunos ya han visto ahí los, los, los pantomimas. Have you seen that before? ¿Ya los han visto? 
So have you seen people? Los mimos, tipo mimos. Ajá. Uh -huh. So have you seen that? Ya, yeah. más o menos ya los han okay. visto. ¿Qué hacen? Sarita. Ellos hacen gestos con las manos y con la boca y ojos. Ok. So that is what you're going to do today. Entonces eso es lo que vamos a hacer hoy. So I'm going to show you some, some sentences and you have to try to recreate that um, with a pantomime. Entonces les voy a mostrar una oración o una actividad eh, y ustedes van a tratar de hacer los gestos para describir lo que ustedes están viendo, ¿ok? So let's see, are you ready? Yes, thumbs up. I'm ready. ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> ok, well, let's see. Um, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Camaritas encendidas, todos los que están activos ahorita, camaritas encendidas, los que están de oyentes, no, ahí están como oyentes, para hacer la división de los grupos. Ok, so let's see. T1. Team one, okay, Carlos, team one, Cindy, team one, Douglas, team number one, Elsie, team number one, and let's see, okay, Elsie. Mm, okay, team number two, team number two, Nikki, Oscar, and uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis, team number two, okay. And Sarita, team number two. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it again. Team one, Carlos, Cindy, Douglas, Elsie. Team number two, Nikki, Oscar, uh, uh, okay. Uh, Dennis and Sarita. Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start, we're like five. Mm -hmm. Let's see, team number one, please pick a number, team one. Right, five. Number? Number five. Five. Okay. So you have to pantomime that. I love ice cream on a hot day. Let's see who's going to start. As I keep uno, team number one. Team number one. So read the send. Okay, Carlos. <laughs> okay, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Douglas. So, Douglas, what are you doing, Douglas? Seen it so hot today. <laughs> okay, nice. So, let's see. You got one. Very good. So, look at Elmo's ice cream. Okay, got it. Great. Yeah. Team number two. So, that's what you have to do. You have to pantomime that. Um, team number two, please pick a number. Hey. Number? Eight. Uh -huh. Eight. Yes. Okay. Yes. I can't play soccer. I can't play soccer. Team two, come on. I can't play soccer. No puedo jugar fútbol. Oscar? <laughs> Nikki, no, just no. <laughs> Okay, Francisco. And let's see how about let's see where is the rest of the team? Where is the equipo? Team Sarita. I can't play soccer. No points for this one. Are you gonna skip it? Are you gonna skip it? No, no ideas. Okay, equipo. Le damos los puntos. Team one. <laughs> Yes, no, Sarita, what do you mean? Elsie? No puedo. Es que no tengo pelota. <laughs> ok, ya se unió Gabriela. Gabriela, de equipo 2, Gabriela. Vamos a hacer mímicas de las oraciones que aparezcan ahí. Eh, Sara. Sara está con el equipo 2, ¿verdad? Es como que estoy jugando pelota. Sí. Ok, well done. Um, let's see. So, no points for this one. No hay puntos para esto, chicos. Let's see. No? No points. No okay, points. we're going to see the next one. We're going to check the next one. Okay. So, oops, no points. So, you didn't do it. Let's see. Team number one, please pick a number. Go ahead. 
Four. Four. Okay. Reset score. Well done. Very lucky team too. Miren. Reset score. Okay. So let's start again. Esa fue la prueba entonces. Okay. Team number one. Please pick a number. Oh, well, this is two. Uh, teams two, right? El turno del equipo dos, ¿verdad? Number two. Oh. Number two. Other team loses 10 points. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> team one, pick a number. <laughs> wow. You're so aggressive today. Okay. Team? 11. 11. Okay. Let's close the door. <laughs> close the door. Let's see. Easy. Look at this. Es que muy fácil es para ellos, así no se va a leer. Ok, Cindy, well done, Cindy. Ok, nice, got it. And Marvin, Marvin, ¿a qué equipo está Marvin? No me ha dicho. Ninguno, ok. Um, no, no. Vamos a ver cómo lo ubicamos. Ok, uh, team one, Marvin. Ok. Ok. Team number two, please pick a number. Team two. Recuerden, tienen que ser la mímica de lo que vean ahí en la oración. Ok, team two. Number, repeat it, please. Ten. 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 Ok, so listen to that teacher. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> Very easy. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay. So I'm going to be checking, observing you during the class. <laughs> okay. Well done. Let's check it. Uh, three, please. Okay. Uh, team one, please pick a number. Number seven. Six, Six or seven? Seven. Seven, okay. I love listening to music. I love listening to music. Let's see. Tienen que bailar. I love listening to music. <laughs> Recuerden que son pantomimas. Okay? Tienen que ser las mímicas. I love listening to music. Okay, Francisco is already dancing. Okay, okay, that's fair. Okay, well done. Let's see, let's check it. And we continue with team two. Go ahead, team. Big one. Number? Six. Six. Okay. I like dancing. <laughs> Sarita no saluda. Sarita. Okay, well, now she can work as a pantomime. Sara as well. Okay, Sara, well done. Oscar. <laughs> he's relaxing. He's having fun. Okay, Nikki, well done. Well done. So you got it. Woo. <laughs> okay, team number one. Go ahead. Pick one number. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. I'm studying for the test, for the final test. <laughs> Let's see, how do you study for the test? How do you study for the test? Como estudian para el examen? How do you study for the test? Let me see. Okay. Mm, so smart. So you look all smart. Okay. Okay, nice. Got it. So good luck. <laughs> By the way, how was the exam? ¿Cómo estuvo el examen, chico? <laughs> Is it difficult? Así. Easy. Okay. Easy. Difficult. Easy. 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 Okay, a piece of cake. Very. Very. <laughs> okay, team two, go ahead, please. Pick one number. So the difference is five points, team two. One. Number one. Okay, I can play tennis. I can play tennis. <laughs> Sad, so creative. 
<ríe> como que esto es un lugar y está mal. <ríe> ok. <ríe> ok, bueno, well, that's ok. Let's see. La intención um, es lo que cuenta. <ríe> yeah, it works. <ríe> that was uh, number one, right? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Team uh, one, please. Pick one number. Three. Three, okay. Three. The school bus is late. Hmm. Very difficult. The school bus is very late. It's late. The school bus is late. Okay, let's see. We need a representative. We need a leader. Let's see who, who was going to do that. The school bus is late. Team? No, team? Do you give up? Se rinde equipo? Okay, Cindy. Yes. Anybody else? The school bus is late. No? No points for this one? Team, what do you think? No. ¿Qué opina el equipo? ¿Le damos los puntos o no? Hola. No, it's very difficult. Come on, come on. You have to be creative. Okay, well. El bu el bus. Team, what do you think? Team, team two, do we give them the points? Equipo dos, le damos los puntos o no? Sí. No, a nosotros no nos perdonaron. Ajá. Solo la... Desde ahí empezaron mal. <laughs> Team two, please. Pick a number. Number nine. Number nine, okay. Me Don't entre. talk. Don't talk. Team two. Qué fácil. Así, así. Ay, a ver. <laughs> Amenazas en la clase. <laughs> es el que salió. Okay, okay, well done. That was pretty easy. Uh, team one, go ahead. Pick one number. 14. 14. I'm watching television. Team one, I'm watching television. Hagan la boca igual que vos. I just saw Marvin. Who else? Ah, okay, Carlos. Okay, got it. Let's see, team two, pick a number. We're missing just three. Ten points, it's the difference. 16. 16, thank you. Okay. Yesterday, I went to the beach. We a la playa ayer. Yesterday, I went to the beach. <laughs> Let's see, team. No se ganan el punto. <laughs> and how will you represent yesterday? Vamos a ver, ¿y cómo harían la representación de ayer? Yesterday I went to the beach. Mm. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Go, try it. Carlos ayudando al enemigo. <risa> Con él, lo puedo dar la mano. Ok, ok. <risa> well, you're, you try. Um, um, team one, your last opportunity to win or lose. 15. 15. <risa> I'm wearing sneakers. I'm wearing sneakers. I'm wearing sneakers. Ideas? Team? Team number one, ideas. I'm wearing sneakers. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's too easy for you. 
And you have to do them. Mime, uh, Cindy. <laughs> Lo quitó la niña. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. And the last one, team two. So lose five points. Okay. Qué triste. <laughs> but you're the winners, okay? <laughs> okay, well. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna open the glass. And. <laughs> Okay, so let's Question. continue. Let's continue. So we're gonna be working on our book now. Just let me open. It. We're gonna have a short review about the previous uh, unit, and then we continue with the next unit number three. Okay. So look at this, uh, we're gonna check the following activities and okay. So we we're working on it yesterday. So we're gonna start with the listening, uh, listen, uh, listening. We're gonna listen to a conversation about two people talking about their daily routines. We're gonna start with this. So if you have your money and you can open it, we're working on page 21, page 21, okay. Let's see, uh, can you read this information, please? Let's see, Douglas, or, yeah, Douglas, free listening exercise. <laughs> Fatima, okay, Fatima, welcome. Let's see, help us with this. Uh, Carlos, please, help us reading the free listening exercise, and then we continue with the idioms. Okay. Uh, where you are free to get Ryan? an online MBA? Mm -hmm. Hola. Continue, continue, please. Ah. Or just going to a local college. There are a number of things you have to consider, including location, cost, and the repu reputation on the school. What factor is most important to you? Idioms. Se escucha un gran ruido. Sí, es igual decir que los compañeros. Sorry, okay. Nice. Continue. Uh, Carlos? Okay. Idioms. Idioms. A walking encyclopedia. Someone who seems to know everything. My roommate will do bill on a trivia game show. He's working in secret. Have the right tooth, stuff. Mm -hmm. Have the need, a skill to success. Okay. Susan has the right stuff to get info any school she chose. Mm -hmm. Chooses. Okay. Choose. So look at this. Uh, whether you're trying to get an online MBA. So what's an MBA? Ideas, MBA? Master uh, of Business. Uh -huh. Master of Business? Administration. Perfect. So that's a Master of Business Administration. Or just going to a local college. There are a number of things you have to consider, including location, <laughs> cost, and the reputation of school. What factor is most important to you? So the question is this one. So what factor is most important to you? So what will you consider if you go to um, uh, a place like this? ¿Qué factor considerarían ustedes? The location, the cost, or the reputation? So which one is more important? ¿Cuál sería el más importante para ustedes? Um, let's see, Fatima, the cost, the location, or the reputation? And reputation. 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 Okay. Reputation. Uh, reputation. 
Yeah. Reputation. Okay, well, so it wins reputation. Uh, Nikki, what do you think, Nikki? Reputation. Reputation. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, so I think you won't consider the cost. And how about the cost? Is it important or not? Y los costos, are they important or not? And the location, I imagine traveling like three hours. Is that important to you? Sería importante la ubicación también. Ya unas tres horas de distancia. What do you say? Yes, no? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you, you go with reputation. Okay, so now look at this. Uh, we have uh, some idioms in here, a walking encyclopedia. Okay, so I think that we already know this one. Someone who seems who seems to know everything. Alguien que parece conocer todo, right? So my roommate, my roommate would do well on a trivia game show. He's a walking encyclopedia. Are you a walking encyclopedia, guys? Are you? Are you a walking encyclopedia? <laughs> are you are you a walking encyclopedia? Okay. No. Uh huh. But do you know a person who uh, knows a lot about a topic or mm. different topics? Pero conocen. Do you know anyone? Do you know someone? Do you know a person? A walking encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. ¿Conocen a alguien? Yes, no. Sarita, no. Do, you, do you know walking encyclopedia? <laughs> no. 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 Martin, you? Yes. No. Okay, who no. said yes? Carlos? No. No. Mm, okay. Mm, well. And uh, let's see. And uh, the next one is this one. Look at this. Have the right stuff. Have the right stuff. So have the needed skills to succeed. Tener las habilidades necesarias para ser exitoso. Sobresalir. Susan has the right stuff to get into any school she chooses. Tiene las habilidades necesarias para ingresar a cualquiera, uh, cualquier escuela o universidad que ella elija. Okay, so now let's continue. We're gonna listen and to this recording and answer the following questions. So let's read the questions. Can you read the first question, Marvin? Okay. Uh, what doesn't the man want want to do after he graduates? Wait, graduates. Gra graduates. Gra graduate. 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 Okay, so what does the man want to do after he graduates? Uh, read the possible Graduate. answers, Marvin. He wants to become a teacher. He he wants to work a hotel. He hopes to go on the graduate school. Okay, he wants to work at a hotel. At a hotel. At, at a hotel. Yeah. He wants to work at a hotel. Okay, and he hopes to go on to graduate school. Let's see, the next one, can you read this one, Sarita? What? What is the woman's? Uh, history, French, computer, and science. Okay, science, science. Science. Okay, so what is the woman's major? Major. Okay, so by the way, what's major? Ideas? Major? What is the woman major? Mm -hmm. So what is the woman's major? Okay, so what's major? What's major? Ideas? Major. What's that? History? Uh huh. French, French, and computer, computer, 
Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Science. 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 Computer science. Computer science. Okay. Computer science. Ideas about a major. ¿Qué sería un major? Yes. Mayor en algo. La ¿La? Mujer mayor. Mm, ok. Posesivo. Una. Importancia. Ajá, Ajá, algo, algo así le entiendo. Importante. Ajá, algo, alguien importante. Ajá. La especialidad. Veamos las posibles respuestas. Historia, francés. Eh, especialidad. Y, ajá, computer science. Entonces, acá nos referimos a la especialidad. Por ejemplo, I have a major in English. Mi especialidad es inglés. So, what is your major? What is your major? Psychology. Uh, I don't know. Medicine. Um, history. Okay, so that's a major. Uh, the next one. Can you read this one? Um, let's see. Gabriela. Read it, please. How does... How does... The woman... The woman pay for college. Okay. How does the woman pay for college? How does the woman pay for college? For college. Okay. ¿Cómo paga? ¿Cuál es el, el medio? ¿Cómo paga ella para el, las cuotas? Okay. She received a scholarship. She has a part-time job. Or her parents are paying for it. Scholarship. What's that? Scholarship. Ideas. Scholarship. A scholarship. No. What's that? What is this? Scholarship. What is this? ¿Qué es eso? What is a scholarship? Colegiatura o algo así. Scholarship is um okay. I'm gonna write it here. Scholarship. Beca, okay. Beca. So you, uh, aha, you have been granted a scholarship at Inglés Corporativo, right? So it's scholarship. And uh, she has a part-time job. Ideas? What's a part-time job? Part-time job? Un trabajo de? Medio tiempo. Tiempo. Uh -huh. Un trabajo de medio tiempo, okay. Medio tiempo. Okay, the next question. Can you read that one, please? Let's see. Nikki, read it, please. Read the next question. Where does the man work part time? Okay. Read the at possible the bakery, answer. At the bakery, in a library, at the restaurant. Okay, well done. At a bakery, in a library, at a restaurant, right? ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde trabaja medio tiempo? And the last one, can you help us with this one, please? Uh, let's see. Os no, Oscar is a listener. Sara Gisela, help us, please. Read the last one. What? I belong. What thing did the man not, uh, not say about his job? Okay. So what thing did the man not say about his job? Job. 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 Que no dice o que no menciona acerca de su trabajo. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna listen possible uh, things that he does at work, but you have to select the one that is not included. Okay. The pay is okay. His co-workers are friendly, and he works long hours okay so are you ready i'm ready okay well, let me know if you listen to the audio i'm ready Oh, hi Dave. Long time no see. Hi Maria. I was in the neighborhood so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? 
I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? I'm um, doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French, but I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Okay, so we're going to listen it once more. Yes, one more. Oh, hi, Dave. Long time no see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? I'm um, doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French. But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Okay, do you want to listen now once more? We'll listen it again. Number one is a uh, letter B. Letter B, okay. He wants to work uh, at hotel. Yes. Okay, so let's check it. Correct. Can you read the information, Marvin? Oh, okay. I haven't decided for sure. No le decidido, so claro. But I think I like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. Pero me encantaría, me gustaría trabajar para un hotel o una agencia de viaje en esta área. Look at this. What is the woman's major? Computer science. Computer science. Computer science. Computer science or French? French. Yes. French. Sarita, what do you want to say? French and continue computer, computer science. science. Um, computer science. Computer science. Computer science. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Maria said, uh, well, when I first started college, miren, cuando inicié el college, I wanted to major in French. Quería, quería una especialización en francés, right? But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. Okay. <laughs> so I changed majors to computer science. ¿Por qué, ¿por qué decidió cambiar de, de especialidad? Um, por hard time. A high time. Ajá, porque probablemente por el tiempo. Ah, mm, porque le costaría, o sería difícil, pasaría un tiempo Ahora, muy time. duro, difícil, muy largo encontrar un trabajo. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. How does the woman pay for college? ¿Cómo paga el college? She has a part-time job. No. Receive. She receives scholarship. Scholarship. Yes. Number one. Scholarship. Number scholarship. one. Okay. Number one. 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 Well, Fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship. Wow, that pays for all the for all my tuition and books. Okay, recibió una beca de cuatro años. Uh, tuition, what's that? Tuition, tuition, ideas, tuition? tuition. Tuition es que paga por qué cosa? Paga la matrícula y los Libros. Libros. Mm -hmm. Y los libros. Entonces ella tiene esa beca. La matrícula y los libros. And the last question. Where does the man work part time? At a restaurant. At a restaurant? Bakery or library? Yeah. Okay. Marvin and Nikki, Douglas, Dennis. A bakery. At a restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. Uh, restaurant. Restaurant. Okay, so let's listen to the voice. Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near Campos. Okay. Uh, poco a poco se va afinando el oído. Mm -hmm. So you see? But you have to practice, okay? What thing did the man not say about his job? The pay is okay. His co-workers are friendly. He works long hours. He works long hours. He works on long hours. He works long hours. Are you sure, Marvin, Nikki, Dennis? Got it? Sara, Eliana, Elsie? He was good checking. Why is okay? Ah, okay, but look at this. What thing did the man not say? ¿Qué no dijo about his job? The pay is okay. okay. His, his co-workers are friendly and he works long hours. Carlos, what do you have for this one? Uh, he works long hours. Long hours. Okay, correct. So it's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, acá este tipo de preguntas son bastante, ¿cómo decirle? El pago es engañoso. malo, ¿verdad? Ah, ah, no, no, no. En otros el trabajos. Ajá. El pago no es malo. El pago no es malo. El pago no es malo. Mm -hmm. Isn't bad. Entonces, veamos acá. Ese tipo de preguntas son engañosas porque acá le, le preguntan. Menciona todas las cosas que, todas las cosas de su trabajo, pero dice qué es lo que no menciona. Entonces, tenemos que tener cuidado con ese tipo de preguntas. So, what thing did the man not say about his job? Ok, él no mencionó, no mencionó que trabaja horas, jornadas largas, right? Ok, nice. Well done. So now let's continue. We're gonna have another listening. And so just let me open that. Okay, can you read this please, Sarita? Pre-listening exercise. Um, Pre-listening exercise. Create different types of exercises that are Sorry, sorry, okay. Oops. Oops. Uh, uh, describe different types of exercises that are helpful in those areas flexibility uh, and, and training and endurance. What kinds of workouts do you do? Okay, so what kinds of workouts do you do? Workouts means ejercicios. So what kinds of workouts do you do? Flexibility, uh, training, and endurance. So what kinds of workouts do you do? 
¿Qué tipo de ejercicios hacen ustedes, chicos? I practice eh, mountain bike. Mm, ok. Flexibility. Sería flexibilidad. Ah, eh, What? no, endurance. Endurance. Ok. Resistencia. Ay, endurance. Yeah. endurance. 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 Ok. Endurance. How about strengthening? Sería fuerza, flexibilidad, fuerza y resistencia. So, what kinds of workouts okay. do you do? Uh, Carlos, you said endurance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sarita? Endurance. Endurance. Okay. Um, Nikki? Flexibility, esteem, and R. Mm. 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 Las tres. Okay. Okay, well, nice. Wow. All of them, all of them. Todas ellas, todas ellas. Okay, flexibility, straining, and endurance. And Fatima, do, uh, what kinds of workouts do you do? Exterity. Sin estiramiento, no sé cómo dice. Straining. Stretching. Straining. 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 Okay. Straining. Show you that. Straining. So listen, listen. Strengthen. Stretching. Listen, listen. We're gonna play it again. Strengthen. Strengthen. Stretch, stretching. Strengthen. Strength. Strengthen. Strengthen. Stand. Strengthen. 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 Okay, ya vamos a ver. Strengthen. 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 Okay. Strengthen. Strengthen. Very good. Yeah, you're good. So as much as you listen, it's yours. Ah, okay. They will. Strengthen. You have questions with this one. Look at this. The other one is this one. Endurance. 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 So now let's continue. Uh, well, I think this is clear, right? Flexibility. Okay, so we're gonna check some idioms. Uh, can you read the idioms, please? Uh, let me see. Uh, Sarah, please. Idioms. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Keep up and accept everything different. The reality he called, called, continue. They rise to the tree in the towel. Towel, okay. Towel. And the next one, put on pounds. Yo también. Oh. 
Yes, continue, please. Help us. Pout on bones. Gain hey. Gain weight. Gain hay. He is pout on a feet. Bound this pasture. So he decided to start jogging. Oh, jogging. Jogging. <laughs> okay, nice. So look at these idioms. Throw in the towel means give up and accept defeat. ¿Qué significa throw in the towel? Tirar la toalla, lo que nosotros hacemos en español. Tirar la toalla. Rendirse y aceptar que ha sido vencido. So Jim realized uh, he couldn't continue the race. So he threw in the towel. ¿Cómo decir tirar la to toalla? Throw in the towel. This is past tense. Aquí está en pasado. So throw in the towel. I throw in the towel sometimes. Okay. Uh, so he threw in the towel. Have you ever throw? Uh, have you ever throw in the towel? ¿Alguna vez han tirado la toalla, guys? Have you ever? Okay. Claro. Throw yeah. in the towel. <laughs> claro. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Mm. yes. Okay. So this happens, right? Okay. And oh. the next one is put on pounds. Put on pounds. Uh, this means uh, ganar peso, ganar peso. Uh, he's put on a few pounds. Have you put on a few pounds extra this year? Have you put, okay, on a few pounds this year? So have you put on a few pounds this year? Yes, no? I have. No. <laughs> uh, no? Yeah. <laughs> Accepted. <laughs> much, much. Too much uh, let's say too much sugar, right? And okay, Hector, welcome. Okay, nice. So now we have our listening activity. Look at this. Um, we're going to read as well the questions and then we continue with the listening. Uh, Carlos, please start with the question and the answers. Okay. What does the man usually do on Monday and Wednesday? Wednesday, perdón. He plays ten. He does aerobics. He runs. Okay. Continue with the next one, please, uh, Sarita. Okay. Um, uh, they said before. Yes, no. before. Uh, uh, before he goes or do exercise, he uh, stretches, is breakfast, does push-ups. Okay, before he goes out to exercise, he, antes de salir, ejercitarse, él, uh, what are stretches? Stretches. Stretches. So what are, are these stretches? Do you remember the cat? Recuerdan ahí el juego donde les decía stretch? <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes? So what are these? ¿Qué ejercicio sería ese? Son? Mm. Estiramientos. 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 Mm -hmm. Estiramientos. And this one. Is this an exercise? It's breakfast. Okay. And push ups. Push ups. Push ups. Okay, no YouTube. Push ups. So these are some push ups. Mm -hmm. So these are push ups. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Let's continue. Can you read that? Hacer lagartijas. <laughs> <laughs> Push ups. Okay, um, Sara, please. The man lift. 
Jayman lives when going to improve. Uh, improve his endurance. Endurance, okay. And change his endurance. muscles. Muscles? Lose, lose weight. Lose weight, okay. So let's check this uh, word. So listen, listen. Wait. 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 Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. Improve. He improve his endurance. Uh, strengthen his muscles. 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 And lose weight. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. Well done. Okay. The next one is uh, Nikki. Can you read this one, please? The man goes. The man goes hiking on Saturdays uh, to visit a friend. The burn off weight from overrating to get rid of his worries from the week. Okay, thank you. And can you help us with this one, please, Elsie? Where is Elsie? Elsie? Okay, so I think she's a listener. Um, help us with this one. Let's see, Oscar, Oscar, please help us. What do the men do on Sunday? He goes for a walk. He relaxes and watches TV. He goes skiing. Okay, thank you, Oscar. What does the man do on Sundays? He goes for a walk, he relaxes and watches TV, and he goes swimming. And that's all. Okay. So listen, listen, listen to the audio. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't route a bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping <laughs> jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. Okay, so we're going to play it again. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't route a bed until at least 7.30 p.m.? <laughs> no. Oh, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. 
Okay, we'll send it once more, okay? Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in right. shape. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't ride a bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy this story. Okay, so how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo, chicos? I assumed it was okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, so let's try to do it. What does the man usually do on Mondays and Wednesday? Después vamos a checar con el script, ya con, la, con toda la información. So what does the man usually do on Mondays and Wednesdays? Play tennis. Plays tennis. Play tennis. 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 He plays tennis. Plays tennis. Okay. Yeah. Any other plays idea? Tennis. He runs. He uh -huh. runs. Mm -hmm. Nikki? I have no idea. Idea. Okay. So we're just gonna look at this, Marvin. What's he right? runs. Mm -hmm. I almost always yeah. go jogging for about a half an hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Yes. So let's look at this. He said that we're jogging. Okay. So what's jogging? Jogging. Okay. Look at this. So he didn't say that he runs. He said that he goes jogging. Look at this. Jogging. Mm -hmm. So this okay. is jogging. Yeah, but they go all the time. Sorry. Goes jogging. Uh, before he goes out to exercise, he stretch. 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 Oh. Of course. Before I leave, I usually make sure I do some stretches so I don't pull a uh, muscle on my run. The man lift weights to strain his muscle. Strain his muscle. 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 His muscle. muscle. His strain. Mm -hmm. muscle. This helps me build muscle strength. Okay. The man goes hiking on Saturday to, to burn off weight from overeat. Overeating. What's overeating? Overeating. Overeating. Comer. Bastante poco. Bastante mucho. Okay. What's overeating? Comer demasiado. Mucha um, comida. Mm -hmm. Overeating. Mm -hmm. And to get rid of his worries o deshacerse de. Get rid. Get rid means deshacerse. Okay. Deshacerse de. O desechar sus preocupaciones. Worries. So, which is your answer? One, two, or three? Three. Three. Hi. And Marvin? Which one? One, two, or three? 
Okay, so I'm gonna select the one that got the last step. Okay, so this is uh, finally I often go hiking on Saturdays with my dog, right? What dog? Well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Okay, so there you have the explanation. Yes, How about this? Sarita, what if? Relax. Relax. And watch TV. He goes for a walk. He goes for a walk. Um, he goes. Okay. Uh -huh. He goes for a walk. You were right. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, but. And on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. So we got a four. So now let's check the scripts. So let me, so let me show it. So try to follow the conversation, okay? So I'm gonna show you the scripts. the scripts. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in right. shape. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? Go around to bed till at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. Okay, so I'm going to play it again. By the way, Tall Tales. Tall Tale is un cuento chino, right? <laughs> no le cree que haga todo eso. Tall Tales. Cuento chino. Okay. Any other word that you have uh, noticed? ¿Alguna otra palabra, chicos? Que han observado acá? The phrase um one jumping jack. One jumping jack. Okay. Look at this. This is one jumping jack. Jumping jacks. Yes, can you see that? On Santos, right? Jumping jacks. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to play it again so you can listen to it again and try to follow the audio, okay? Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in right. shape. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't roll out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. 
Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. Okay, nice. So now, look at this. We have the vocabulary that you have seen. They generally, that's an adverb that means usually. So you can take a screenshot, get a screenshot from this vocabulary. She generally does aerobics right after she gets up. Tall tale, an unusual or unbelievable story. He's running in a 100 kilometer race. It's just a tall tale. He gets tired just walking to the kitchen table. Es que está compitiendo, está haciendo, hace una carrera de 100 kilómetros. Está en una competencia de 100 kilómetros. But that's cuento chino, right? So he gets tired. Se cansa con tan solo caminar de la cocina. De la cocina, right? Walking to the kitchen table, a la cocina. And we have endurance, the ability to keep doing something difficult for a period of time. I don't know if he has the endurance to play the entire basketball game. Okay, ¿qué dijimos que era endurance? Resistencia. Uh -huh, resistencia. Burn off, get rid of. ¿Tienen? Burn off, también menciona este phrasal verb en la conversación. Burn off, que significa? Que era get rid of. ¿Recuerden? Se lo mencioné. Burn off, get rid of. The teacher had the boy run around the gym to burn off his extra energy. ¿Qué ha hecho la maestra? ¿Qué tiene haciendo ahí el chico? <laughs> run around the gym. Dando vuelta en el gimnasio. Corriendo, ajá, corriendo, dando vueltas en, alrededor del gimnasio. ¿Para qué? Para deshacerse para quemar toda esa energía que tiene de, de más. Okay. And anxiety means feelings of being worried. Sentimientos de preocupación. Right? De sentirse preocupado. Working out at the health club helps me get rid of anxiety. Ejercitarme okay, en el club de salud me ayuda a qué? A deshacerme de la ansiedad y la frustración, la frustración. del trabajo. Mm -hmm. Ansiedad y frustración. Del trabajo. Buy a story. Este es un idiom. Believe something that is probably not true. ¿Ok? Creer algo que es probable, que no es probable, que es falso. ¿verdad? So, believe someone, something that is not true. No sé cómo, qué idioma utilizaríamos nosotros acá. Porque tenemos el... Tall tale, el cuento chino, pero este no sé. Comprar un, compro, bueno, literalmente dice comprar una historia, ¿verdad? Right? Pero no Está sé. Está vendiendo una historia. Pero no sé, no sé qué idioma podríamos adaptar nosotros al español. ¿Tienen uno? Como un cuento chino. Ajá, sí. Yo no sé si habría otro. Ok, don't buy his story that he exercises every day. It's just not true. ¿Eh? No le compres la historia, no le creas. Cuanto chino, que se ejercicio, no es no, verdad, right? So that's by story. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, so we'll continue. Uh, let's see where it was the book. It was over here. It just let me open. So if you explore the tool, if you explore that listening, of course, you will improve your listening. Ustedes van revisando el sitio, ya con ese link que tienen, ustedes lo pueden checando, se, eh, pueden ingresar a las actividades de eh, listening, de basic, y así van ustedes superando lo, los niveles. Eso les va a ayudar bastante a mejorar su, su listening. Ok, and let's see, just to finish, we're gonna complete some exercises. From the book, this is page number 22, okay? Page 22. 
complete the sentences with the verbs in parentheses. So which could be the verb? Affirmative and negative. He. Carries. 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 Look at the verb. Look at the verb in parentheses. Exercise five. Complete the sentences with the verb in parentheses. If you think that we need to modify that, we do it. If you don't think uh, that's necessary, we don't do it, okay? Veamos ahí si es necesario hacer un cambio al verbo o no. He ordered everything in the office. Um, do we need to modify something? Read the sentence. Read the sentence. What do you think? He ordered everything in the office. So will it be order or order? Okay. Order. Mm -hmm. order. order. Number two. Order. How about order. number two? Uh -huh. Amy and Teresa. Ask. Ask. Okay. Ask. That's okay. Number three, Helen. Not calls. Negative, negative. Doesn't neg call. Okay, doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't call. call. Okay. Number four. She cleans. She cleans. Cleans. Cleans, perfect. Cleans. Number five. Cleans. Uh, okay, we don't have five. <laughs> number one, <laughs> number five, <laughs> number five, this one. I write a list with the thing we need at nine. I write. 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 write. And seven and six. Sorry, six. Nothing. Mario. Mario doesn't, doesn't keep. Doesn't keep. Record. Okay. He buys. 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 Okay. So there you have the answer. So get a screenshot. Ahí le pueden tomar una captura. So and you can add it to your manual. Y lo pueden ir agregando a su manual. Okay. I see you have the manual, right? Do you have it? Tienen el manual, ¿verdad? Yes, no. Perdidos los archivos perdidos del teléfono. Okay, so now let's continue with this. We're going to have a conversation in here. Right. Now look at this. We have a create a conversation with a partner about someone else's daily routine, daily activities at work. Hello, how are you? Hello, um. So let's try to create that conversation. Hello, um. At least, for example, I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I, what about you and your partner? So in here, you're going to add the activities. I uh, write reports. I check emails. I check the payroll, I also uh, answer phone at the reception, I make some phone calls, so you can add different activities in here. Okay, acá, acá tenemos que agregar las cinco actividades que hacen, okay? Cinco, ya las tienen ustedes, cinco actividades que hacen, y luego viene esta pregunta, what about you and your partner? ¿Qué hay de ti y tu compañero? Okay, porque lo vamos a hacer en grupo de tres la conversación. What about you and your partner? We, y acá van a mencionar algunas actividades que hacen. Okay, we, for example, we supervise employees, okay, we train people, okay, personal, okay. Capacitamos personal, so we hire people, contratamos, okay, again, personal. Mm 
we check the accounts, we verify the payroll, checamos la nómina también, la verificamos. So you can add the, these activities, activities similar to this ones, okay? So you, you have to be creative and think about some activities, okay? And, okay, esto sería con we, okay? We. Ahí agreguen algunas tres actividades. And then, and she. Okay, yo voy a presentar a alguien más. And she. ¿Qué haría ella? She uh, writes email to different companies. She buys. Okay. She buys products. She checks the production. The production. Okay. Por lo menos tienen que dar las descripciones de lo que ustedes hacen, de lo que hacen en conjunto y, de lo, y dar una descripción de lo que alguien más haría. Por, ejemplo, por eso van a trabajar en equipo de tres. Ok, preguntas, chicos. Preguntas. Tenemos que crear una conversación. Ok. Preguntas. Questions, questions. Everything clear as or chata. No los escucho mucho ahora. ¿Qué les ha pasado? No, no, todo, todo claro. Todo claro, ok. Bien. Vamos a trabajar en equipos de sí. tres y cuatro, ok. Si hay más integrantes, solamente le harán actividades también para, para él, ¿verdad? Ok. Si no, pues nos quedamos con tres. So get a space. Ya les mando una captura también. Me pueden tomar una. Ok, veamos. ¿Quién se me ha quedado sin invitación? Eduardo, Yanira, eh, vamos, ¿quién más? Gabriela, Iliana y eh, Denis, chicos, ¿me confirman sí, ahí? Si me un yo, yo tengo invitación, pero estoy como oyente, no termino parcial, me quedan 122 minutos aún. Ok. Por eso, teacher. Ok, de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Eh, bien, vamos a ver, ¿alguien más que esté por acá? Ok, vamos. Eh, Gabriela, Ileana, Elsie. Si me dejan un mensajito, chicas.
trabajo todo el día. Ok, I am a counter, uh -huh. and a supervisor, and I train the personal, and I, the book of the company, I'll talk to the people, <laughs> I'll fight the people. Oui. Oh, así en inglés, preguntar. Sí. Vamos a decir tres actividades cada uno. Yo la verdad estoy más dormido que despierto. No entendí muy bien la, la, lo que dijo que íbamos a hacer. Pero <risa> ustedes han, han entendido ustedes. Ahí ustedes empiecen ustedes. Yo, yo lo digo después. Vaya, ahí envió también la captura de pantalla de, lo que, de los ejemplos que la Miss dio. No sé si ya lo enviaron al grupo. Teacher, si no, explíquele al compañero. Sí. Porque tal vez no entendimos correctamente. Vaya, Sandra, ya entendí. Sí, es de que cada uno va a decir tres actividades. Uh -huh. Pues las vamos a repasar, a leerlas, turnándose, digamos, uno va a ser el ítem A, otro va a ser el ítem B. Ok. Para con ejemplo, quiero ver. Ella puso en we, donde, donde dice hello, I am, nosotros vamos a poner el nombre de cada uno de nosotros. Ajá. En este caso, I am, sería Sara, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque primero sería con usted, aquí, ¿verdad? I Sara. have a question, what do you do on weekend days? Y, y en I, I, vamos a poner las tres actividades que nosotros realizamos en el trabajo. Sí. What's, what's about you and your partner? 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 Partner. Las primeras tres actividades que usted hace en el trabajo, ¿cuáles son? Cash account, cash income, pretty cash count. Permítame. Income, dijo. Count. Count. De ahí. Cash income. Sí. Query cash account. Query cash account. Vaya, de ahí donde dice... We, ahí vamos a... Lo que podríamos hacer los tres. Checks, check the programmation. Eh, supervisor, the, the person. Programación. Programación. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Chequear, no, no. Check the programmation. Chequear la programación, lo que va en el pedido. 
Ajá, es como un checklist para okay. validar lo que se va a hacer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Además de eso, eh, hay enseñar el mail, o sea, hay que enviar varios correos también. Okay. Va, en el momento que ya contesta la persona ve es que esa misma persona que está haciendo la función del B es donde pregunta what about what about you and your friend partner ¿verdad? partner ajá ¿verdad? Your partner ajá, la persona, partner la persona la persona A digamos en este caso si yo estoy como A Tendría que responder sobre lo que hacemos, como tal, como grupo, en todo caso, que en este caso sería, si yo estoy hablando con usted, tendría que describir lo que hace de mí, lo que hago yo, de una sola vez. Para uh -huh. hacer algo un poco global, podría poner que we send email, eh, bueno, los dos enviamos email. Uh -huh. Pues han hecho el tema de, como el sí, eh, Supervisor, que no le dijo ni que no entonces, sí, así sería de, de hablar de lo que hacemos los tres. Vale, chicos, ¿cómo Aquí. Aquí estamos todavía. ¿Tienes alguna ayuda? ¿Necesitan apoyo ahí con algo, chicos? En lo último, teacher, cuando dice and she, we, es como que le estén preguntando she. a alguna de ellas. ¿Y ella? ¿Qué Pero hace? No, Pero no, que es otra no, persona. Nosotros no, y ella. Uno de ustedes va a tener que decir, uh, decir las actividades que hace ella. Vaya, así, ve que le dije, es como que yo le pregunté a Fátima, a usted por Fátima, ¿y ella qué hace? Uh -huh. Y tiene que Marvin decir qué actividades hace ella. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ya entiendo. Uh, what? Mm. what? Y en la en la última vamos a poner tres. Que eh, las actividades que hago. Eh, pero sí, que bueno. hace su otro compañero, ya. Ah. Ya sea Marvin, ya sea yo. Marvin. Ok, ¿usted qué hace durante la semana? ¿Qué hace? <ríe> Yo. Ajá. Eh, bueno. <ríe> Yo, cooking dinner, a cocinar la cena, me toca cocinar la cena a veces. <ríe> no, yo como yo trabajo. Ajá. Eh, pues jugar con los niños, eh, recibir a los niños, eh, Ajá. y, y, ah, y eh. ir a swimming con ellos, Check. las clases de natación. Sí. 
Mucek. Oke. Next. Entonces, esto es lo que hacemos en el trabajo. Yo había confundido. Uh -huh. <ríe> Pensé que el trabajo y la casa. <ríe> Hello, Carlos, are you here, Carlos? And Jolan, I don't know if you finished. Carlos, Carlos, hello. Hola, hola. Hola, Carlos. Um, the rest is still working. Los demás están todavía trabajando en la... En la... La conversación. Um, sí. I'm going to ask, no sé si ustedes ya terminaron. Ahorita estoy queriendo editar el archivo. Ah, ok. Ok. No problema. Voy yo con el A y usted con el B. Hello, how are you? Hello. I have a question. What do you in weekdays? I take care of What about you? I am checking the programmation. I am saying it's Mary. I am supervisor people. Que yo casi no le escucho, Oscar. Sí, sí, sí. Se vio bien bajito. El güey es nosotros. Ajá. Nosotros y sería y él. O, o she, he, ajá. Nosotros y ella o él. Pero aquí en este caso sería nosotros porque somos tres. Sería we o si quiere decir algo en específico de, lo, de uno de nosotros sería uh -huh. he. He sent some emails uh -huh. or whatever. Sí, en ese caso sí sería. We say in mail. O sea que la conversación va dividida, ¿o? no es de una vez hasta abajo, siempre en la segunda se corta. ¿o? Hello guys, did you finish? Yes. I think yes. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, welcome guys back again. 
let's see. We're going to start with, um, okay, team. Let me check the team's number. Okay, team one, uh, Douglas, okay, Nikki, and Oscar. Nikki, Oscar, and let's see who else. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién más estaba con ustedes, chicos? Aparte de no sé, Nikki y Oscar, tengo acá. No sé si hay alguien más. Hola. Falta. Okay. So start, guys, please start with your conversation. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hello, I am. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I take for. I send email. What about you and your brother? Well, um, we send emails. Um, I make some calls, and that's it. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you miss the this part, right? And she or he and he do this and that, right? That's a part of the part, okay? But well done, it was very good. It was very good. Okay, let's see. Team, uh, the next team is um let me check. It, Carlos, who were you working with? With Yolanda, right? Hi. Yes, but I am busy. Hello, how are you? I'm sorry, I'm working now. Okay, let's see. Um, anybody who, who can help us? Um, let's see. Okay, Nikki, Nikki, could you help us with Carlos, please? Hello, okay. how are you? Hello, I'm Nikki. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? Um, I send emails. Um, I make some calls. Okay. Uh, what about you and your we partner? Are, uh, we are a sales manager. What do you do on weekdays? Uh, Coaching uh, the personal uh, a bright uh, report. Well, why your partner? Supervisor the personal. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he or she supervises. Ah. Uh, he supervises personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we coach people. We coach people, you can say. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Let's see, um, let's continue with the next team. Thank you so much, Carlos. Uh, the next team is Eduardo, uh, Fatima, Marvin, and Sarita. Well, okay. Fatima, Marvin, and Sarita. Empiezo yo. Okay. Eh, ¿cómo se? Ah. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hello, I'm Marvin. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I work. I I go to know different places. What about about you and your parents? 
um, uh, we cleaning we cleaning of the decks. Um, um, we check. We check. We check, we check. And, um, que todo, o sea, chequeamos que todo esté limpio, ¿cómo es? We check to clean. No, we check that everything is, okay, clean. We check, we check that everything is clean. Um, uh, we we cleaning um and the windows. Mm -hmm. We clean we clean the windows. Uh huh. Mm, and the rooms. So you can Okay, nice. And do you finish there? Okay, no hace falta algo más? Mm, no. That's it. And Fatima, what about you and your partner? Hello. 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 I'm fine, Fatima. Hello. Hola, hola. Uh, Hello. Hello, I am Eduardo. Okay, I am this. head. I am head question. What do you do in the weekdays? I what about you and your partner? Mm, okay, Eduardo, in here you have to mention your activities. Acá, sus actividades. I ah, okay. what do you do on weekdays? I do this and that. Y después sigue con la pregunta. Mis actividades de la semana. Uh, yes, your weekdays. Activities that you do on weekdays. Day, uh, daily activities. Activities at work or routines. Ok. Uh, I, I work with a sales clerk. And all week... I attend a, cl a client and I check the emails or my ma my, e my emails and I reply the emails. Uh, I visited I visited building puntuales, ¿cómo puedo decir? I visit branches, sucursales. No, I visit Buildings, visito construcciones en específico. Mm. Only I visit some, I visit I buildings. I would say I visit some buildings. From uh, I visit company. some buildings. I don't know, from the company? Yes. Maybe, maybe company or, or, or finally customer. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm, okay, so I visit buildings from the company. Well, I would say branches. No sé si son sucursales. Ahí me quedó la duda. Eh, sí, es una sucursal en donde estoy, pero no, no. O sea, yo visito proyectos puntuales en visitas de campo. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, si usted está construyendo su casa, yo visito su, 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 su construcción, ¿verdad? Me enfoco más que todo con el constructor. Ok. Y, y si su vecino igual está, ahí voy con, con su vecino. Okay, so I visit some buildings in order to supervise. Um, I um, visit some buildings in order to supervise the, the construction. Uh -huh, the construction, yeah. Only that. Okay, well done. And the next question is for Fatima. What, what about you, Fatima? Uh, Fatima, what about you? I... I was shopping my box for a snack for a smith you. Um, in cleaning in the decks. Pre prepare reports. 
uh, Phoenix. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I clean the desk, I prepare reports. Mm -hmm. okay. So be, just be careful with the verb. Cleaning in the desk. Uh-huh. I clean the desk. Ahí nada desk. más eh, verifiquen siempre los verbos, ¿verdad? Recuerden que si es presente simple, actividades rutinarias, yo limpio, yo preparo, yo elaboro, yo construyo, yo visito. Uh -huh. okay. Siempre el verbo va en su forma base, ¿verdad? I clean, I clean. I clean, uh -huh. sí. Ok. Thank you, uh, Fatima Thank you. and Eduardo. Okay. Let's see. Uh -huh. And the next team is our uh, missing. Let me check. Uh, Sara. Well, I don't know who's next. Sara, so, ¿quiénes nos hacen falta de acá? Okay, ya yeah, pasaron todos los demás. Okay, so that's all. And just to finish, I'm going to show you something. We, we don't have a lot of time, but we're going to check a short PPT related to um, double H questions. And tomorrow we continue with this topic. Okay. No tenemos mucho tiempo, pero vamos a empezar a checar este tema. Mañana seguimos con él. It's related to double H questions in simple present. So these are called information questions. Look at this. We have a friendly visit now. una visita amistosa acá. Function. So when do we use double H questions? So look at this. So when you to pay attention, we have some minutes, but we're gonna start at them, okay? Double H questions ask for information. They cannot be answered with a yes, or no. Miren, las double H questions. They son preguntas de información. Por lo tanto, no pueden ser respondidas con un sí o con un no, como lo veíamos cuando hacíamos preguntas como los auxiliares do y das. So look at this. Where are you from? from? Which is the answer. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Where are you from? Where are you from? Is it correct? Yes. yes. I'm from... No, yes. All right. Is it correct? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, guys? I from. from where from? In the, in the hair. We where are from are in the hair. Uh -huh. We are from Earth. Okay. We are from Earth. Okay. Here. So now let's continue. We have a singular and plural. Oh. We're gonna use. Marvin, otro partido. Okay, so look at this. Use is for singular subjects and are for plural subjects. Why? Because we can use these double H questions with verb to be and with the rest of the verse. Ahora lo vamos a estudiar nada más con el verbo to be. Después lo vamos a estudiar con los auxiliares do y das. Uh, so in this case, you have to use um, this with is or or if you have a plural noun, look at this. What is your spaceship? How many spaceships? ¿Cuántas naves espaciales? Just one. So remember that this has to agree with the um, with the verb. Entonces debe haber un, un paralelismo acá. So uh, verbo, forma singular, sustantivo, forma singular. What are your plans? Which is the noun? ¿Cuál es el sustantivo acá? ¿Cuáles son tus planes? So look at the verb again. Plural form, R, and the noun goes with an S, right? Are your plans, okay? Plural. So now let's look at the definitions. And we're, I think we're gonna just finish this. Can you read this one, Carlos? Who? Who ask about people? Mm -hmm. Who ask about people? Who? Quien, verdad? Who are you? Okay. Quien eres tú? O quienes son ustedes? So look at this person. So who ask about people? So I want to know who does something. Quiero saber quién hace algo. Who is your leader? What is your leader? Who is your leader? Okay, 
So now the next question, the next double H question is what? Sarita, can you read that one? What? What? Ask. Ask, mm -hmm. ask about things. What? What's your language? Okay. What is your language? Que nos puede preguntar de cosas en general. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es tu idioma? What is your language? What is your name? What is your phone number? What is your, let's say, what else? What is your favorite soccer player? No, who is your favorite soccer player? I mean, what is your favorite TV show, for example? ¿Cuál es tu programa de televisión favorito? So we can ask about personal information or general things. So we can ask about things. What are your names? ¿Cuáles son sus o tus nombres? So we ask about things in general. So now let's continue with the next one. Uh, help us with this one, Marvin. We're asked about place. Where is your spaceship? Where, where are we? Okay, nice. So we're asked about places. Location, location, places, right? ¿A dónde está tu nave? ¿A dónde estamos nosotros, right? And uh, let's continue with the next one, please. Sara, help us with this. Why? Why? Why are you here? Why are tired? Hands so small. Okay, nice. So why ask for a reason? And we studied this in a previous session, right? Estudiamos acá el why anteriormente, solo que lo veíamos como una pregunta y, la, y veíamos cómo contestar a ese why. Recuerden que cuando preguntamos con why queremos saber la razón de algo, el porqué de algo. Why are you here? ¿Por qué estás aquí? Why are their heads so small? Son sus cabezas tan pequeñas. Okay. So let's look at some examples. So with a partner, we're here in a class. Read the answers and ask double H questions. ¿Cuál podría ser la double H? So which could be the double H for this answer? They are aliens. Which one? Who, where, what, why? Who? Who, okay, who? Who, who are they? Who are they? Okay, who are they? Okay, so look at this. So look at this one, look at this picture, the United States. So which is the double H? Word, okay. So which could be the question? Where is he from, right? Where is he from? How about this one? Because they landed on the moon. Why? Uh -huh. Porque ellos aterrizaron en la luna. Alguien está conectado en dos equipos. Sí, ahí Francisco no. Está... Mis oídos. Sí, ya le lo apagamos. Ah, oh, sí, ya ya vi, tiene dos equipos. Okay. Uh, why, why? Why, right? Because they landed on the moon. So, which could be the question? Why, why are they happy? Ah, why are they happy? Because they landed on the moon. Okay, so look at this one. His hobby is soccer. Which double H? Who, where, what, why, or where? What? Mm -hmm. What is his hobby? What is his hobby? What? Recuerden que este what puede significar que o cual. Okay, what is his hobby? ¿Cuál es su pasatiempo? His hobby is soccer. Okay, so I'm going to send you the, 
the PPT later. And look at this. Um, we often use contractions for double H questions with is in speaking and informal writing. Okay. Cuando hablamos y también eh, lenguaje escrito, pero informal. What is the master? Contracted words. Words. Where's the master? Where's? What is on TV? ¿Cómo nos quedaría eso? What is on TV? Where is what's TV? What? What? What's on TV? What? What? On TV. Okay. And we usually give short answers to double H questions. We can give long answers too. Look at this. Why is your skin green? Because I eat a lot of broccoli. Or my skin is green because I eat a lot of broccoli. Okay, en este caso, nada más lo que hizo fue acá no dar una respuesta larga. ¿Por qué es tu piel verde? Ah, mi piel es verde porque como demasiado broccoli. O solamente empezar con el because. Directamente con el because. Because I eat a lot of broccoli. Y eso sería todo. Oh, eso se refiere con una respuesta corta. No se refiere a que va a decir un sí o un no. Se refiere a que acá pudo haberlo empezado una oración completa. Mi piel es verde por, por y tal razón. Ok. So that, that's what we mean with this. Ok. Example two. Practice two. Who is he? Which is the answer? We're going to finish in a minute. Who is he? He is a doctor, right? So. Okay. So let's check out the following Where questions. Is Where is she? Where is she? Spaceship. Uh -huh. She is in a spaceship. Uh, how about this one? The answer is firefighter, which could be the question. What would ser la pregunta acá? Where, where is what? he? Look at Who? this. Who is he? Who is he? He is a firefighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So what is he? He is an alien. He, he is an alien. Uh, alien, alien. Who is he? He's a fighter fighter. And this one, why is he scared? He sees a spaceship. So you can take, you can get a screenshot from this. Okay. And I'm going to send you um, a document where you can work with these double H questions with the word to be. Okay. So just let me check that one. Okay, this one. Okay, le voy a compartir ahí un enlace para que ustedes lo practiquen. Uh, you can work on that uh, after the class, right? I'm gonna pass the attendance list now. Okay, so there it goes. Okay, just help me with the attendance list and remember to activate your camera so we make sure that you're here. Mi, miss, yeah. eh, lo, lo puede compartir en WhatsApp también. Okay. Gracias. Okay, eh, help me with the attendance, guys. Eh, Carlos Enrique Guerrero Hernández. Present. Thank you. Cindy Lisbeth Mendez Ceron. Present. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> Douglas Alfonso Alvarenga. Present. Elsie Yanira Ramirez. Fátima de Jesús Gómez de Segovia. Present. Thank you, Fátima. Francisco Antonio Acuña Ramirez. 
Thank you. Héctor Alejandro Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ileana Guadalupe Jerónimo Morales. Present. Thank you. Ileana Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Present. Thank you, Eduardo Marvin Alexander Pérez. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Nikki Daniela Costa. Present. Thank you, Nikki. Oscar Daniel Castillo Ramos. Sí, ya saludaron, ¿eh? Saludaron para echarse ya. Oscar Daniel Castillo Ramos. Thank you, Oscar. Ramiro Denis Linares. No, no, no saluda para nada, como que es animal, ¿se Present. Thank you, Denis. Sara Gisela Peña. ¿Ah? Present. Thank you, Sarita Elizabeth Present. Thank you, and Yolanda Gabriela Fan Hernández. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. If you have questions, just stay, okay? So if not, let's uh, go to sleep and have a great night, guys. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Gabriela. No escuché mi nombre. Creo que no me mencionó. Mm, ok. Bien. Okay, listo, Gabriela. Ya estamos ahí. Bueno. Gracias, Gabriela. Feliz noche. Marvin, questions? Che, una pregunta. Fíjese de que a mí, a mí me cayó un correo, no sé si era para mí o era para la muchacha de recursos humanos de Insafor, uh -huh. que me pedían unos documentos. Ahí le mandé un poquito la captura de lo que decía ahí por WhatsApp. Ah, vaya, pero probablemente puede ser también como ya estamos en la tercera semana y se empieza a hacer el proceso para el siguiente nivel. Ah, sí, sí, algo así dice. Ah, pues sí, puede darlo okay. en eso. Uh -huh. Bueno. Gracias, feliz noche. Ok, Marvin, vale. gracias. Buenas noches. Bye. Bye, bye.